let's continue from the past questions. Question 24 from 224. A characteristic of a Ken family is very simple substitution reaction. They will not undergo addition reaction because of the only one single bond is what they have between their carbon chain. Question 14 of the same of 2020. How many hydrogen atoms does a single ring cycloalkane cyclo have less than the corresponding open chain arcane? Right, it's simple. Let me illustrate that before we proceed. For example, let's take propane. Propane is CCC. This is a normal, a normal arcane. Aliphatic form. Now, if you change this guy to a ring form, you will short two of the hydrogen atom. That will give us what? C, C, and C. Each of them contains what? Two hydrogen atom. So, if you count, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. This is C, three, H6 against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is C3 H what 8. So if you take now, there is a reduction by what? By two hydrogen atoms. So the answer there is what? Answer is 2. 219 question 8. The four classes of hydrocarbons are now, this question is very, very, very tactical. You have to pay attention very well. Now, a tin is from arcane. A tin is from where? Arcanes. A, a, a tin from arcanes. Benzene from aromatic. Now, if there was no option B, you could have gone for what? Option A as the real answer. But because we have option B, okay, the answer there is what is B. Arcane, arcanes, arcanes, and what? Aromatic. Don't forget that arcanes, arcanes, arcanes falls under what? Aliphatic hydrocarbon. Whereas aromatic is um, there as benzene ring. So answer is there is B. 218 question 12. Consecutive me members of an arcane of monogal series differ by CH2. Very good. Very simple. All right. The compound above exhibits. The compound above exhibits. We talk of different type of isomerism. We have geometric, no, this is not geometric, this is not position, this is not structural, but what? Optical, because you can rotate. If you place a mirror here, it will be upside down. So the actual size is what? Optical isomerism. Question 13, 2016. The functional groups present in the compound above are very simple. Look at it critically. What, what functional group are present here? We have OH, and we also have Chlorine. Now, we have two options here that are close to the answer. So you have to be careful. Arcane and haloarcane is gone. But we have hydroxyl and chloro group. This could have been the best answer. But because of halo group, because halo group, we have, we have bromine, chlorine, iodo. So now, to be very specific, we have chlorine. But chlorine falls under what? Halo group. So the best option there is what? Hydroxyl and what? Halo group. But even though it's chlorine, since chlorine is a form of halo group, so D is the best option, not B. So be careful in questions like this to avoid confusion. 215 question 23 says, what is the molecular formula of a compound with empirical formula C2, CH2, and vapor density of 44? I will explain it how to solve it. I will not solve it because of time. Now look at this. Multiply this guy by two. You have molar mass. CH2 equals to 44, 42 times two. I give us what? It give us 84. Find the molar mass of this guy, then find N. When you get N, come back to this place, follow the procedure, is your assignment rather. Follow the procedure from here you will get your answer. You do this, copy this, CH2, N equals to molar mass. Multiply 42 by two. Get N, then use N to multiply out the actual formula. You have your answer. 
So that is your assignment. If you do that, your answer is what? Is A, C6S12. C6S12. Just try that now. You'll get your answer correctly. All right. Question 40, year 2014. The Arupak nomenclature of the compound above is good. First of all, identify the substituent and the functional group. Here we have hydroxyl or alcohol. We have aldo group, chloro and bromo. So the preference is given to what? The actual functional group is what? The alkanoic, sorry, the alkanol, OH functional group. So your numbering starts from this. This is one, two, three, four. So the parent's hydrocarbon is what? Is bu, butane, okay? Now if you, if you remove the N and put OL, you have butanol. So you have gotten your butanol, which is your parents. From here, they are all correct. Butanol. This is butanol. Now the challenge is between CL and BR, we want to come first. Don't forget the, the rules, alphabetical order. So we have bromo before what the chloro, because B come before what the C, the, A, the C. So the actual name here is what? Three. One, two, three. So we have three bromo, two chloro, three bromo. You can see two, three bromo, two chloro, butanol. Three bromo, two chloro, butanol. So the answer there is what? Is option C. Okay, the next question is hydrocarbon, the same procedure. Follow sheets, follow this process and solve it. Multiply 39 by 2. So CH equals to 39 times 2. When you solve it, you get the answer. The answer here is will be what? It will be A. When you solve properly, C6S6. That will be the answer. So assignment number two. Try that at home. Right now, you get the answer. 22. Question 46, type L of 214. The purpose of H in the reaction above is to increase the yields of the product. Is to increase the rate at which the product is formed. So the answer there is what is B. 2-methylpropanol is an example of 2-methylpropanol. Now this one, don't guess it. Let me show you this one. Don't guess it. If you are not too sure of the answer, draw the diagram of 2-methylpropanol. Two, two With regards to classification of hydrocarbon, you get the right answer there. 2-methylpropanol. First of all, start with the main compound, propanol. Propanol carries three carbon atoms. One, two, three. Can number from here or here? Let's start from here. Carbon one, carbon two, carbon three. Two methyl, okay, propan, two all first. So the all will come from this side. One, two, propan, two all. Followed by what? The substituents, three methyl. So you can see? So this is CH3. This is what? CH3. So this is an example of what? Of a tertiary alcohol with everywhere full with alkyl group. So the right option there is what? Is option C. Example of tertiary alcohol. Okay, next question. The final oxidation product of alkanol, alkanol and alkanone is alkanoic acid. Not this, not alkanoate, not alkalamide. All right, ethanol reacts with concentrated tetral oxosulfate six acid at a temperature above 170 to form. Yes, I told this is a this is a two phase reaction with excess acid. You have 18. Don't forget, I said that before. Now, go back to your slide of reaction of ethanol. You see the option there. Excess acid give us what 18. But excess alkanol give us what? A toxi, a 10, an eta group. So the answer there is what? Is a 10. All right. 2-methylbutanol two two is an example of a same method with this. With what is on the board there. So this is 2-methylbutanol. So the answer is tertiary. You can only add CS3 to this. To change it to what? To butanol. CH2, CH3. 
So this is one, two, three, four, both and all. This is the parents, carbon two, carbon two. So two methyl, both and all, is sample of a tertiary alcohol. All right, the main product of the reaction between phosphorus 5 chloride and ethanol, go to the previous slide. It is chloroethane, is there under the reaction of ethanol? Chloroethane is the answer. In the deduction of ethyl ethanol with lithium tetrahydrido alumina 3, the product obtained is this is a reduction reaction. So you reduce ethyl to ethanol. Reduce ethyl to ethanol. Next one, ethanol reacts with excess solidified ketone to have ethanoic acid. The property which makes alcohol soluble in water simple hydrogen bonding. Hydroxyl group. Hydroxyl group, it contains what? The hydrogen bond. Okay, the oxidation of the compound above, the oxidation of the compound above produces, now it is the reverse of the previous question. This is, this is oxidation process. When this oxidizes, you give us what? You give us known. From alkanol to alkanone. This will not change to double bond. And you have alkanone instead of what? Alkanol. So the answer there is what is butanone. Oxidation of alkanol will give us what? Butanone. Okay. And an example of aliphatic unsaturated hydrocarbon is, don't forget, aliphatic but unsaturated. Unsaturated means that they must contain double or triple bond. So look at this now. Butanol is not the answer. Pentene contains single bond. Benzene is not aliphatic but aromatic. So the right option there is what is propene. Okay. Two methyl, two methyl butuene has a structure of assignment. Do that. It's very simple. How do you do it? Draw the structure of butuene. Then attach one methyl group to carbon two. Structure of but two in, but two in, attached what methyl group to carbon two. You get your answer. All right. The conversion of open chain alkanes into cycloalkanes and aromatic compounds is called yeah. They are trying to reform it. Like what we, what I did there. Look at this. This is your normal aliphatic hydrocarbon, which is propane. I'm changing it to what? To cyclo. To what? To cyclo. So this process is called what? Reforming. They are the same. We just change the structure, reform it to a suitable hydrocarbon. All right. Next one. How many structural isomers of chlorobutene are possible? How many structural Isomers of chlorobutene are possible. Don't just guess. If you are not too sure, pick a paper and try to draw the two structures. You will know the answer. Now, this is a butane. Butane is like this with four carbon atoms. Chloro. Now, don't forget that it's either it is at carbon one or carbon two. As you will start from here to name, this is carbon one, two, three, four. If you start from here again, it's carbon one, two, three, four. Even if you start from here, it will, this, this will still be your, your carbon one. So the possible answer there is two. Is chloro is here, all others are what? Are your hydrogen group. This is your chloro. So we have two possible isomer. One chloro, but ten and two chlorobutene. The answer there is what is two. Which of the following represents an aromatic hydrocarbon? Simple. This is benzene. So benzene automatically is the answer. It can be ethanol. It can be butanol. No hexanol. This is exine. So the answer is what is C6H12. Okay, we see how um, it's almost done. I have a few questions to finish. Which of the following arcanes has the highest boiling points? Why? Because pen, the, the higher the carbon atom, what? The higher the boiling points. So methane is the first, followed by ethane, followed by propane. So the highest there is pentane. So pentane has the higher boiling point compared to 
the other options present. Okay. The type of isomerism shown by cis and trans isomers is geometrical. Don't even think twice. Geometric. With spatial arrangements. Okay. The IUPAC, the last question assignment also. The IUPAC nomenclature of the structure above is, I'll give you a guide. First of all, locate the root hydrocarbon, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hexane. But what is the functional group present in from Akin? So your numbering will not start, you, you will not start from this side, but you will start from here. So you can have the lowest, lowest carbon atom to the functional group. So carbon 1, 2. So this is your carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, carbon 4, carbon 5, carbon 6. So your parents are your carbon is hex 2 and hex 2 and. Now go to your substituents. We have two. Chloro and methyl. Chloro are attached to what? Carbon 2 and carbon 3. So this is 2, 3, dichloro. Hyphen. Followed by what? 1, 2, 3. So this is 2, 3, dichloro. 4, 4, 5, trimethyl, hex, 2, ion. Sorry, not ion, but in. Double bond. I take it again. 2, 2, dichloro. 4, 2, 3, dichloro. 4, 4, 5, trimethyl, hex, 2, in. Try that again, and you'll get your answer. Okay, so that is the last question, but this is your assignments. Organic chemistry is very broad. If I want to do it today, you will stay at 7 p.m. I will not finish. So with this, we'll give you a glue. Go to your, pick a good textbook like Essential Chemistry, New School Chemistry, uh, Comprehensive Chemistry. There are many good chemistry textbooks. Pick it, sit down and study. I didn't say read, but study the following. Study methane, ethane, and ethane under the following headings. One, laboratory preparation. It will help you. Industrial preparation. Physical properties. Chemical properties and their uses. Especially pay attention to their chemical properties. You will see all the reactions there. Combustion reaction, addition reaction, polymerization reaction, and so on, and all their formulas and their names and their structures. If we do that, there's no question they'll ask you in organic chemistry, you'll not be able to answer. Thank you. I wish you all the best in your exams. See you next time. God bless you.